Hi, right. I'm going to work uh, quickly today because uh, I'm going to dinner again tonight. <laughs> um, just found out I sold another copy of Crazy Horse at the uh, Gallery in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. That's two copies that have been sold so far. I'll be picking up the clay sometime in September or in October and taking it to the foundry uh, to have it cast. But what they're doing at the gallery is, is uh, they've got the clay in the gallery and they're taking orders off of it now. And uh, I'm really excited that that is being well received. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm going to leave a gap where the, the uh, base has to come off. I uh, just have to round this out a little bit. It's amazing what a couple of sales can do to your psyche as an artist. <laughs> Makes you feel like you're worthwhile. You're doing something that people like. That is a good feeling. I think I'm going to overlap some rocks here. The thing is, you want to make as little welding to be done as possible. And uh, by putting a couple rocks on the front of the base that aren't attached to the part that uh, it's going to butt up to, um, they don't really have to do a lot of welding around those. At least that's the theory. All right, I'm going to come back uh, when I've got a little more added. It's going to be a short video today because uh, I am going to be going someplace in about another hour and a half. And uh, I won't be able to do much tonight. Now, right now, it looks like a seam right there and I don't want that to happen so I'll be building up rocks uh, in front of that seam that these rocks will bat butt up to but let me show you how this works and I'll try to do this wait I might help to put another light on oh there wow let there be light <laughs> okay I'm gonna lift up on the back of uh, the dog and you can see the seam comes right off and those rocks will blend into the uh, base. I just thought of that. I, I don't know why I've never thought of that before. Um, also, I've been trying to figure out how I can fill in behind here. And I think I know how, what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a big rock inside, underneath his leg like he's been sitting on it. And that way... I can fill in underneath there and it won't make it so hard to cast. So I'm going to at some point remove the dog. And I'm also starting to do the uh, same thing with the uh, seam on this side. I think this is about as much as I'm going to be able to do today. I just have had so much happen today that uh, I just need to take care of. And... Uh, It's, uh, it's the way it sometimes happens. 
I've got to put a proper bottom on his uh, moccasin there. I had some inquiries about uh, some of my new pieces from another gentleman that uh, sells artwork of mine. And so I've got to go put together a bunch of emails to him. So I've got to, uh, the interest in my work is starting to build up and that's good because you can't sell artwork if it's just sitting in your house and, and it's nice to know that people are seeing it and wanting it. I don't want to overdo the base because every time they have a rock, they have to sandblast and chip out the shell from the ceramic mold from under the rock. And especially if you've got a tight bottom on that rock. And I don't want them to have to do that. Yeah, and that that's why doing the rocks the way I'm doing on the uh, edge of the uh, insert is so good because they won't have to clean out the sharp uh, recesses on those rocks because uh, they'll be sliding right in on top of the uh, bronze. Now, it may not work. And the reason I say that is because bronze shrinks. That's why... People can't make a copy of a famous bronze from a bronze because what happens is that uh, bronze shrinks and it'll always be smaller than the original. So it's uh, how they can detect a copy of something. Besides that, you'd have to cut the uh, original apart. And if it's a real valuable bronze, Nobody's going to be cutting it apart, believe me. All right, I'm going to continue for just a couple minutes, and then i got to get out of here. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this video out and uh, posted so that you know what's going on. And uh, I'm really happy today. It's, a, it's been a great day. And what do you do when good things happen to you? You thank your Father in Heaven for all the blessings that you've been given. And I've been given an immense amount of blessings just being able to do what I do. Taking thin air and sticking something in it that never was before. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.